Well, then we're going to do uh, simple interest and compound interest. Select it, find out where the book I need to be. Okay, anytime uh, you borrow money on simple interest, it's interest equals principal times rate times time. Okay, interest equals principal times rate times time. The rate has to be a decimal. The time has to be in years. Okay, so uh, Steve and Lori. Borrowed uh, <coughs> borrowed forty five hundred dollars <coughs> uh, to remodel their kitchen. interest rate was 4.75% and the time was three years. So, how much interest did Steve and Laurie owe? Okay, so interest is the principal times the rate times the time. The principal is $4,500 times the rate was 0 0.0475 times the time was three years. Now let me get a calculator. $4,500 times 0 0.0475 times 3 is $641.21. I mean, 25 cents. That's how much interest. So, part B, the total amount owed. Was $4,500 plus 
plus 641.25. Which is uh, five thousand one hundred and forty one dollars and twenty five cents. Jeffrey wants to take his mother out to dinner a week it is one week till he gets a payday borrow money Jeffrey pawns his watch Based on the value of the watch, the pawnbroker Jeffrey seventy five dollars. Fourteen days later, Jeffrey. Get his watch back. dollars and 25 cents so in the interest is the principal times the rate times the time and the question is what 
annual interest rate. Did Jeffrey have to pay? Okay, so the amount of interest would be the difference of $80.25. And subtract 75. So $5.25 is how much interest. And the principal was how much he borrowed. And we don't know the rate. But the time was 14 days. And you divide it by three, let's say it's 360 days in a year. Okay, we said 360 or 365. So 75 times 14 divided by 360 will be, or that will be 1,050 over 360 times R. And then multiply 5.25 5 .25 times 360, you get 1890 equals 1,050 R and then divide both sides by 1015. And so the interest rate is 1.8, which is 180%. Now, compound interest. For compound interest, you have to use the formula A equals P times 1 plus R over N to the NT power. N stands for how many times is compounded. T is the number of years. R is your interest rate. P is your principal. A is your amount. Okay. When Alex was born, he received $3,200 from uh, friends. Uh, his father deposited the money in a money market account. with an interest rate of 3% and compounded monthly.
monthly. Okay, determine the amount in the account. After five years, so we have to use this formula. The total amount is $3,200, and your interest rate is 3%, divided by 12, raise it to the 12th power times 5. So that's $3,200, and then take 0.03 divided by 12. Add one, you get 1.0025 raised to the 60th power. Okay, raise it to the 60th power, multiply by 3200, and you get Marcella won $250,000. Okay, after spending ten thousand she invest the rest in a money market account. Okay, this account pays 1.5% interest compounded monthly. much money will be in the account
after 10 years. So the final amount is how much he deposited, which would be two hundred forty thousand dollars, because she spent ten thousand of it, and that's multiplied times one, and the interest rate is one point five percent, and divided by twelve, raise it to the twelfth power times ten. So that's 240,000 times 1.00125 oh, oh, one, to the 120th power times 240,000 and that is 2 seven eight two hundred and seventy eight thousand eight hundred and fourteen dollars and ten cents so you drew thirty eight thousand eight hundred fourteen dollars and ten cents interest Now, interest can be compounded annually semi-annually quarterly monthly and daily okay annually is once a year semi-annually is twice a year quarterly is four times a year monthly is 12 times a year daily is every day is 360 or 365 times a year Well, we're going to start talk about probability. Okay, uh, one card is selected. from a deck of cards. <clears throat> if one card is drawn, Behind the probability the card is a 
A A7, which is 4 over 52, which is 1 13th. 4 7s over 52 cards. And not A7. So if it's 1 13th is a 7, not a 7 would be 12 13ths. Because the probability of something happening plus the probability won't happen has to be 1. Um, a heart is 13 over 52, which is 1 fourth. A card greater than four and less than nine, which is a five, a six, or a seven. Okay, you have four fives, four sixes, four sevens, well, and then eight, four eights. So that's 16 over 52, which is four thirteenths. Uh, let's say that each letter of the word Mississippi It's written on a sheet, piece of paper. Okay, the pieces of paper are placed in a hat. If one letter is selected from the hat, find the probability The letter S is selected. Okay, Mississippi. Okay, you have how many letters all together? Eleven letters and four S's. So before over eleven. 
Uh, okay, the letter uh, S is not selected. Okay, it's four elevenths, so eleven elevenths minus four elevenths is seven elevenths. Okay, I, I think I'm going to end this. Okay, so in this recording, I hope you all learned something from this. So anyway, if you all have any questions, let me know.